Hello team, welcome to our weekly sales meeting. We're looking forward to a really great meeting here. Uh, I want to get started and talk about the month of October. First of all, big shout out to the entire operations team. Uh, we finished the month extremely strong. We closed more loans, more funded volume, and more units in the month of no, in the month of October than we did in September. So, you know, traditionally that that's the other way around. So we did a great job finishing the month. Now, there's always going to be these last minute things that come up. You know that we have to overcome uh, last minute changes to you know settlement statements. You know, circumstances change, and all be all. When we when when those situations come up, it's all about how we own the moment, attack the issue, and do what we need to do to get our buyer in their home and get that closing across the finish line. And I can tell you, this month was one of our best months. Not 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 perfect, but one of our best months with dealing with those challenges when they when they came up. Uh, so you know, big shout out to the entire operations team. We appreciate you. Uh, we're continuing to build off of our plus ninety four MPS score, which is the highest in the industry. So it's all about that experience. It's all about making sure we stick to the fundamentals. We communicate and we provide that great high touch experience for our clients. So thank you. A couple other things on the month of October I want to hit on is like I said. You know, we had we closed more loans in the month of October than we did in September. That's not going to be the industry norm. The other thing is this is we've had a bunch of loan officers have record months in the month of October. So, you know, uh, you know, one of their best months of the year, John Bauman had a record month in the month of uh, September, or excuse me, October. Uh, Ian Twaddle had one of his best months of the entire year. And there's another handful of loan officers that had their best months or, or their second best month of the year in the month of October. So keep this in perspective. Now, we've heard all of the, the, the headlines and the headwinds that are out there right now, people talking about how, you know, rates are so high and how you know, there's no inventory and there's no buyers, but yet we have people right here at our own company that are having their best months ever or having their second best months ever. That's a big deal team. And we have to make sure that we understand that the noise is just that it's perspective. It's a viewpoint. And some people look at the market and they look at the adversity and they let that determine their success. They let that be the story for their success or lack thereof. There's other people that just focus on doing the work. The daily sales activities, making sure they're making their calls, making sure they're connecting with their reels, making sure they're doing their marketing, making sure they're following up with their database, making sure they're delivering a great client experience because we know a great experience is going to create more future customers through referrals. So, you know, stick to the fundamentals, dominate your day, dominate your week, and guess what's going to happen? Record months still in this environment that's going to happen. So I want to give a big, big shout out to those guys for having some of their best months of the year. But more than anything, the leadership and the mindset that, that they brought to you, Mortgage, leading by example, overcoming the noise and sticking to the script and sticking to what it takes to win. So it takes what it takes to win. They're doing what it takes. Now I want to talk about the big news that came out yesterday, the agent commission lawsuit. So, you know, this is what I tell everybody is this lawsuit has been going on for years. Okay. OK, so obviously, you know, yesterday when the verdict comes out, you see headlines like shocking outcome, completely unexpected. You know, people are, you know, unhinged. Let me just explain to you guys. There is when you have a, a lawsuit that's been going on for years, there's one of two outcomes that can happen. OK, it, it's something you can anticipate. There's there's an expectation. So while, you know, some people that, you know, aren't prepared and don't plan uh, might be shocked and jarred. The, the people that actually know what they're doing are not impacted, okay? They knew this was an outcome, just like we knew this was an outcome. And we all know how this works. Like, here's the deal. Whether the seller pays the commission or not, it's going to get paid, okay? This whole concept that buyer's agents are going away, that's completely nonsense, okay? Just understand, if there's 3% less commission paid by the seller, what happens? The purchase price of the home is going to be 3% less. Now, you might be in a situation where the buyer who now has to pay the buyer's commission might negotiate a seller concession to pay their closing costs, which now includes their buyer's agent commission. There's a lot of different things that could happen and will happen as this plays itself out. But what's not going to happen is buyer's agents aren't going away and the way that real estate is transacting transacting is not going to be massively impacted. At the end of the day, people need to buy homes, people need to sell homes, and there's real estate agents that facilitate those experiences and we partner and support those agents. So don't let the noise impact you. The, only the uninformed and the ignorant are gonna to react to this stuff. We're gonna stay focused on doing what we need to do to educate and support our real estate agent partners through this point, through this time in the industry and make sure we understand that it's just an event 
regulation happens, people, you know, when TRID happened, the world was going to come to an end. When HVCC happened and the appraisal process was going to change, the world was going to come to an end. Like when NMLS happened, the world was going to come to an end. Like all these events happen and people, you know, pretend like the sky is falling. The reality is they are what they are. You adjust, you, you learn the new dynamic of the industry and you move forward and you continue to transact. So that's what we got to focus on is controlling the controllables winning every day and do what we need to do to support our partners. So last thing I want to hit on is value has no competition. Okay. This is the biggest thing. It's like the people that are order takers and the people that are door openers. So like in the mortgage world, the loan officers that are order takers that are just, you know, that when times are good, they do well because the phone's ringing. Uh, and the people that are door openers on the real estate side that, that are just, you know, when, when somebody needs to open a door because they found a house and everybody's buying, they're, they're successful. Like those people have either already gone away or the last of the Mohicans will be going away very, very soon. Okay. What is going to sustain and what is going to not only sustain, but thrive on the other side of this market are the experts, are the professionals, are the people that have invested in their business that are not order takers. They're actually, they have sales processes. They have, uh, you know, experiential processes. They have a true business model that drives predictable outcomes. They're not just sitting there being a gatherer. They're, they're, they're hunting. They're actually going out every day and doing what they need to do to win. Those people, like we mentioned a couple of them earlier, will continue to thrive. And in markets like this, where more and more people are going to exit the industry, where there's going to be more and more consolidation and where the barrier to entry becomes experience. The barrier to entry right now has become experience. The bigger the expert you are and the more consistent you are within your business, the more likely you are going to be successful. And that becomes the barrier to entry. So inexperience and lack of work ethic is going to be, is going to be weaned out right now. So the winners are going to grow market share during this period of time. The winners are going to win because they're prepared to win. They expect to win and they're going to outlast the competition. They're going to outlast the order takers. They're going to outlast the door openers. So this is an amazing time in the, in, in the history of our industry. It's an opportunistic time for the people that are focused on winning, that show up every day and have the disciplines to win. So, you know, my call to action to everybody is, you know, we're going to our winners win event tomorrow. It's the next two days. We're going to be in Michigan. We're going to have 500 of our, between our team members and real estate agents there. It's going to be a great event. And the whole focus is talking about how we're going to win together, how we're going to do what it takes to win together, not because we feel like winning, not because we're motivated to win, but because we're doing the work, we're doing the sales activities. We have a plan. We're doing the marketing. We have the, you know, we have the conversion process. We have the client retention process. Like we're doing it all. And that's what winners do. Not just when in the tough times, they do it all the time. And that's why winners win is they're always doing what it takes to win. They're not a reflection or, or, or a byproduct of market conditions. They are a byproduct of their expertise, their disciplines, their habits, and winning at all costs during all periods of time. So, you know, winners win. We say that. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in Michigan this week. It's going to be a great couple of days. I'm going to hand it off and I'll be back shortly. What's going on, everybody? It's Andrew Katie with the Epic Mortgage Team. Happy Wednesday. I don't know about you, but I am so excited about the Winner's Win event starting tomorrow in Pontiac, Michigan. I hope you're going. I'll be there. I want to talk just a minute about that event. For me, events like this are beyond important for the culture of our company. This is an opportunity where we get to live out the core values that we have getting better every day. This isn't just a good time where we all get together and, and have fun. No, this is where we get to meet people that we've maybe have never met before. We've seen them in, in you know, team meetings. We've seen them via email or talk to them on the phone, but we get to spend time together, cultivating relationships, building the culture further and have referral partners there where we can continue to build those relationships as well. I'm gonna be speaking at the event about dominating your morning and dominating your life. That's gonna be on Friday. And I want to give you guys a quick sneak peek on what that's going to look like. Uh, over the last 18 months, I've become extremely disciplined and consistent in a morning routine. And the results have been amazing. My morning routine is really about setting intentions for the day. Let's face it, the mortgage industry, real estate industry, we are in a highly reactive industry. We react more than we act. And that's not necessarily a negative. It's just how the industry is. We don't get to set our schedule on when real estate agents get to call us or when that client is going to call us or when that referral is going to come in or even when a loan goes clear to close and we need to pick the phone up and call people and congratulate them. We're reacting to things all day. So in a situation like that, you tend to have your day 
lead you rather than you lead your day. And to me, it's all about setting up your morning, setting up starting early and really getting intentional with your time, finding time to reflect on yesterday, what went well, what didn't go well, but just not listing those things out, but really starting to break down those individual items and go back to the action steps that caused the win. What actions were taken that caused the win you had yesterday? If you had a loss yesterday or a failure, something, the ball got dropped on something, what were the inactions that you, that you missed along the way? We're gonna dive deep into reflecting on our day, and then we're gonna talk about setting priorities. Every single day, we need to make sure we keep our priorities in front of us because it's so reactive. We need to keep a list of priorities in front of us. So when we don't have to be reactive and we have that five, 10, 15 minutes in between a phone call, we know exactly the priority that needs to be done. I look forward to seeing you at Winner's Win. I most certainly hope all of you are going to be there. Come by on Friday at 10 a.m. I'll be diving deep into dominating your morning and dominating your life. See you there. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much, Mr. Andrew Cady. Great lead in. Really appreciate it. You did a fantastic job. My name is Sean Grapevine. I'm the director of Agent Direct. But what I'm really excited about right now, as with always, if you can't tell, is Agent Connect. Agent Connect is on the tip of everybody's tongues. And it's what we're getting excited about, what we're learning about, and what we're talking about at our Winners Win event this week on the 2nd and 3rd at UWM's headquarters in Pontiac, Michigan. We're super excited for all the people that are watching this that are going to be there. We have over five or 600 people signed up. It is going to be a packed house. You're gonna to get to see myself, uh, Anthony Casa, Matt Ishbia, Renee Rodriguez, all talk about how partnership forms teams and how teams are what win in this market. So. Uh, if you can't be a part of Winners Win, that's okay. I know it's a little bit late in the week to decide to fly out to Michigan, but if you can't be a part of it, that's all right because we have a webinar today at 3 p.m. with yours truly filmed at UWM's headquarters about Agent Connect, what Agent Connect is, how you can be a part of it, and how it benefits you and, and uh, you know how it really benefits our clients and our markets. And to put it simply, like why does Agent Connect benefit you, right? So what is Agent Connect? Agent Connect is connecting pre-approved buyers from you mortgage LOs to real estate agents in our market. And how does that benefit you? Well, it, it turns us from a, a transactional relationship into a partnership, into a team. And when you and I, and when loan officers and real estate agents work together as a team, who does it benefit? It benefits the buyer, benefits our market, and it benefits our network and it grows our network and our pipeline. So it's a huge, huge opportunity. It's something that like I, I wake up every morning thinking about, go to sleep every night. If I can sleep thinking about it, it's all uh, any of us are working on here at U Mortgage, and it's, it's gonna be the biggest thing since sliced bread. So super excited to talk to you guys about it this week at Winners Win. Super excited to talk to you about it on the webinar. I'm super excited to, uh, to just really continue to grow this program and uh, have it make a difference in the lives and careers of our partners and in the, the home ownership journey of our clients. Looking forward to seeing you. On to the next guest. Hey everybody, this is Chad Curtin with the U Mortgage uh, Cincinnati, Ohio branch. Uh, today I'm talking about winners win and relationships. So when I'm looking at relationships, uh, specifically with winners win, I'm putting my agents into one of three different categories. It's either going to be someone I'm already in deep relationship with, someone that I am trying to strengthen a relationship with, or someone that is um, Basically, someone I'm going after. So think of uh, you know a, a target list or a whale campaign. So someone I'm not in relationship with, but getting in with them would be huge. So based off of where I am in my relationship with these agents is how um, I'm going to approach those differently. You know, if it's already a good relationship, we're trying to strengthen it. If it is someone we I already know, but uh, this is an opportunity to strengthen it and get actual transactions going. The third is just going to be an opportunity to, you know, land a whale. Maybe you get into a new brokerage, maybe you land a new team, uh, something that's going to be a, a, a real career uh, difference maker. So those are the, those three things. And then what am I talking about? Really simple.
to become a part of the Agent Connect team, you need to be sponsored by a U Mortgage Loan Officer. Okay, so there are going to be things that we're going to require of you. Okay, so that could mean attending sales meetings, could be um, you attending a masterminds that we're we're going to to uh, throw. Whatever it is that uh, we're looking to do, we're looking for your participation. We're looking for you to be a true partner, someone that's built into uh, us growing and you are interested in growing as well. So these are the conversations I'm, I'm really trying to stress with, with the agents now and at the event. And um, you know the level of investment that you make as an agent into you mortgage is going to be the direct correlation of referrals coming back to you and how much we grow. It is a two-way street. We're looking for bringing people onto our team that are going that are vested in the growth of you mortgage, and it's going to be reciprocal. So um, at the end of the event, after the event, the big call to action is for anyone that uh, any agents that do not actually come to the event. The call to action is the week after. So November 6th through the 10th, it's mandatory that they meet one on one with you. If they are, so if they didn't come to the event, they have to meet one-on-one -on -one with you so that you can discuss everything that, uh, that you learned from the event and give them all the updates, okay? So call to action, make sure you come really big uh, at Winner's Win. Make sure that you're coming prepared, make sure that you are there to win it. Make sure you're taking advantage of this great opportunity that we have uh, this week. So uh, make the most of it, be prepared and have a, uh, you know, a follow-up plan ready to go. Hey guys, thank you so much for having me on a weekly sales meeting. It's always an honor. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to what I got for you guys this week. So what I wanna talk about today is set up for success. How do you set yourself up for success now and for the future? So different ways that I work every single day to set myself up for success is I am the CEO of my business. So I treat myself with my specific goals and things I need to do throughout the day as if I were Anthony Casa. Anthony's cost has got a lot on his plate for a broader thing is for you mortgage. But for my specific branch, my specific sales division, I try to treat it as I am the CEO of my sales division. So how would Anthony react or respond or plan for my sales division if that was his job? I try to think I have an example like him and I try to think, what would you do? And then I go and execute that. So I love having mentors of you mortgage to help me because I have plenty of other sales divisions and branch managers throughout you mortgage that I think how would they create their day? Are they busy? Do they fill up their day that's meaningful? Do they have a great schedule? I try to make sure my schedule not only helps my loan officers, but also myself, because I want to produce as well. I like to produce, so I'm boots on the ground, know what's going on, but I take it very seriously, my schedule. So my schedule is very rigid, and I make sure that uh, I have calculated uh, things throughout the week that I'm going to you know, achieve on that, whether it be sales calls, whether it be talking to real estate agents, whether it be talking to loan officers, whether helping loan officers in my branch, a lot of things I'm doing that uh, throughout the week. So I try to make sure that I keep my schedule rigid and I fall through on those things. Next thing, the challenges that I face, not just on a daily basis, but for upcoming 2024 is around the corner. I would say now you got to stay focused. There's a lot of holidays coming up. We got Halloween this week. We got Thanksgiving. We got Christmas, a lot of fun things going on, but you got to make sure that you're going to sit down, set aside some time and plan out what you want to do next year. How many deals do you want to close next year? And then when you do that, do a SMART goal. We've done tons of projects and um, seminars about SMART goals, but you want to make sure you can attain those goals. Talk to your manager, talk to your you know, coworkers. I'm going to do this. I'm going to achieve this. Just by saying it to the universe and writing it down, I promise you, you're going to have a 30 to 50% more chance of doing it. So just have a time block of a time that you can sit down with someone, a coworker, a manager, anyone, and set your goals of what you're going to do for the upcoming year. I like to use the win by noon planner. It's really good because it's daily, has quarterly goals, has uh, yearly goals. It's a great way to sit down and just talk about it. So just sit down and talk about it. That's basically the most simple thing you can do to be better than everyone else because a lot of people just don't do that. And then try to do that with your real estate agents. Have goals with your partners. We're all attending winner win, uh, winner win winner's win this week. So we want to make sure that, you know, let's do this together. So winner's win. Let's talk about that real quick. These events are huge. It's not just a motivational event to help you win and get better. It's a great way to network with like-minded individuals throughout the country that are absolutely crushing it. We have people that are doing 10, 20, 25 units a month in this market attending Winners Win. 
you want to pick their brains. You want to make sure that, you know, you can have time set aside, whether it only be two minutes, but learn from the other people. There's a lot of people, myself included, is going to be on the panel. I use AI a lot in my business. So I'm going to talk about that in my panel. Learn from these things. And then not only just go there to feel motivated, but go home and execute. That's the biggest thing. If you can go home from winner's win and actually execute, because we really methodically try to plan this out to help you execute, that's what we want you to do. So that's my call call to action is that I thank you guys for working hard, but think 2024. 2024 is around the corner. Think 2024 now. All right, I'll send it back to the next guy. Appreciate you guys having me on on another weekly sales meeting. Go crush it. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. Great job, team, and looking forward to a, a big month of November as we head here into the final stretch of the year. So, you know, I'm going to finish up with one last thing. I talked a little bit about it earlier. You've seen the theme here is winners win. Okay. You know, this mindset and, you know, people make fun of you. People will you know, take shots at you. People think it's a gimmick and all that stuff. That's great. The people that do that have nothing better to do. Now, just understand, Winners win. The reason why we call this event to be winners win. The reason why we have 300 real estate agents coming to Michigan in the middle of November to be part of this event is because of our commitment to grow and our commitment to our relationships and seeing our relationships grow. So, you know, we had our relationships transaction, not transaction summit back earlier this year. That was a great event. We talked a lot about what relationships mean to us and the importance of having reciprocal value in our relationships because reciprocal value exchange between two people is when both people win, not just one person wins. So, you know, as we focus on winners win, it's all about investing in our relationships. It's all about creating experiences that create raving fans, that drive, you know, customers that create new customers. And the most important thing I want everybody to understand is whether you're able to be in Michigan this week or not, I can understand there's a lot of things that happen that will prevent people from being able to be there. Just understand, we're a team and we've got your back. That's part of the you mortgage culture. That's part of winners win is making sure we're winning together. This isn't about, you know, the just the people at the top winning. This is about helping everybody win. This is about motivating and holding everybody accountable to our standard, making sure people are rising up to the standard. Now, we'll have our setbacks, we'll have our bad days, we'll meet our challenges. That's part of life. That's part of business. But that doesn't change the fact that we're supporting each other. We're focused on winning together as a team, and we're going to do everything we can take to lead our partners, lead our customers, and lead our, our communities through this period of time, help them understand what's going on, help them understand what the future looks like for housing and real estate, and, and give them a clear picture for it. But more than anything, we're going to do what we need to do to serve more customers, provide a great experience, and win together as a team. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in Michigan. We'll make sure we do a great recap for everybody that wasn't able to attend uh, the event these next couple of days. And I'm, and I'm looking forward to another big month here in November, winning together as a team. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.